TFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 2 p.m. Eastern Time on Monday, two hours left to go in the trading day, and we have quite a market to start off the week to the downside. S&Ps right now, negative 74 points, trading at 28.12. We get the Dow off 629, trading at 25,313. NASDAQ off 249 points, trading at 76.67. Gold right now up $13, trading at 1300 on the dot. You got oil, negative 70 cents, $60.97 pennies. Notes and bonds, higher price, lower yield. 10-year note up 15 ticks, 124.15. 30-year bond up 27 ticks, 149.16. Dollar index basically flat, 97.110. Let's start it off. We'll jump over to the futures markets. We'll start it off with the Dow. So in the last hour, we've got a little bit of a pop. I came on the market for the one p.m. update. We were down there at about 25,225 in the Dow. We made a low just below that level, 25, about 217, and the Dow up about 100 points within the last hour, 25,321. S&P is much the same. Bounce doesn't look that dramatic in the context of where we've gone today. But in the span of the low, you were down there at 2802. You're now at 2814. That's a solid 12 S&P points. Not a huge deal when you're down 75 S&P points for the day, but we'll see where the day goes with two hours left. NASDAQ 100, 7359. Lows within the last hour of about 7322. Crude oil, a little bit of a seesaw in both directions. You had some Saudi action with some of their tankers possibly being attacked. That put a little fear in the market, spiked above 63. But as economy woes, trade woes on the economy started to surface today, you had oil trading from above 63, currently under 61, trading at 6094. Gold contract catching a bid, $1,300 and eight pennies. And euro US dollar, a little bit of volatility in both directions, currently trading 1,1230. One of the stories, not really getting lost out there because it's getting a lot of attention as well as we jump. Teva, the generic pharmaceuticals, quite an investigation, 44 states suing them for price fixing. But what I was going to say is Uber, talk about an escalation to the downside, goes public at 45, barely gets a print at 45. And we're trading at 36.86. Quite a number, not the market that you want to be IP. Owing your stock when the indices are down about 3%. Stay tuned, folks. Dave White coming up with a power trading hour live from 2 to 3. Tom O'Brien live from 3 till 5. Stay tuned. Have a great Monday.